those of us that have taken the plunge into the Ink Joy pen realm, that's what those look like done. You know how hard it is to find these sometimes. It's crazy because they just went berserk. So I wanted to experiment with this other Paper Mate Ink Joy. This is like the, not the gel, just the ballpoint. I'm a clicky pen kind of girl, so definitely it's harder to find um, click pens that we can alter without really messing things up. So what I've done, I took that off. The thing that's gonna make this one challenging is that right there, so that this will clip back on. So to get this off, just take a little bit of pointy object and slide it in this little hole right here that I just showed you. You just kind of push that little tab. That's what we're pushing. And then take the other stuff, set it aside. Since I do not have this base painted, I'm just going to do a dark color. It should hide that all pretty well. And if not, <laughs> this video won't see the light of day. But if it works great, great. Normally I do base paint of some sort. Very rarely do I not. So I already have some epoxy mixed up from another project. Just regular, it's not fast set at all. But what I'm gonna do is just use my finger and very thinly put a layer on here. And I'm only gonna spread my finger that way. I'm not gonna go this way because I do not want to risk accidentally getting epoxy in that hole. And when I get over here, I'm gonna be extra super careful. I don't know how well this would work with a chunky glitter, but I'm gonna try it with one of my finest ones. See how it does. Like I said, just be super careful around that hole because you don't want epoxy going in there for multiple reasons. For one, it'll make it stick to the pencil or whatever you're using, uh, dowel or whatever you're using to attach your pen to your turning apparatus. And for two, we don't want to change the shape of that hole because then our little clicky thing won't fit in there. And it's just one less thing for us to have to take care of when we're done is not having to razor blade that opening. Ooh, that came real close there. I'm gonna take a little brain retrain. So I'm gonna use Galaxy. This is from Franz, as per my usual. Oh, I see a spot right there. This is a holographic black. It's so pretty, especially under epoxy. That's one thing I forget to do is check for bald spots before I start glittering, and sometimes it's a mess I'm trying to get it to compensate. Yeah, that covered nicely. Can't even see that it said anything underneath it. That's great. Lighter colors, definitely going to have to spray paint. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to tap off the excess. And at the moment, I don't really see anything here, but... For good measure let's just do that that's just a seam ripper by the way lots of y'all know that i also do a lot of sewing projects or i did <laughs> before my tumbler stuff started i definitely did a lot of um, sewing so i'm gonna just throw a little bit of spray paint on here uh, not spray paint hairspray because i've got a couple other things turning and i do not want this to fall off in any way so just a quick a little burst over my trash can so I don't contaminate that glitter and we let it turn for a little while. Theoretically we're putting it on thin enough that we're not really worried about this but better safe than sorry right? 
All right, so we'll come back and we will put a clear coat of spray paint on that before doing our epoxy. And then we'll see how it turns out when we put it all together. So far, so good. Our hole is still looking really nice and clean there. I'll clean that up with a blade at the very end. So I already have this painted with clear coat. So now let's just very carefully do our epoxy. So I'm just gonna do this all over, probably twice if I had to guess, possibly three times. I'm going super thin so that I don't end up filling that hole. Now that I have a rough edge right there, it might could just kind of channel right in there. I'm just going to do that. Here's how I'm gonna address that little bit right there. I'm going to very carefully kind of dab it around and I'm gonna to go towards the hole. Just like I do on the rest of the pen when I get to the ends. Like that. Do not scrape it this way or this way. We're gonna end up with that epoxy right down there onto the pencil. Focus. There we go. So you can kind of get an idea there what that looks like. Looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is just carefully make sure that I don't have any extra chunks that might keep our holes from accepting the little parts that go there. Just super carefully scrape out any excess just like that we were already careful doing it but better safe than sorry pretty clean there now let's grab our parts and put it all back together oopsie just like that and now we are going to just clip that back in place Beautiful. People could just get refills. Uh, if you do these, you might just recommend people poke a little something in there to pop it right out. Voila. I do not see me doing uh, chunky style, only super fine glitters. Like, that's probably the biggest cut that I'll do on that at all. Uh, but this particular one was Galaxy from Franz Glitter. There's a coupon in the description but that was nice and fine so it laid down really nicely and look it doesn't roll off your table <laughs> if you like my content please consider subscribing if you have any comments or questions please leave it in the comments thanks and have a good one